I'm Pete Millett from Monolithic Power Systems. Today I'm going to show you the MP6500 stepper motor driver IC. The MP6500 is a bipolar stepper motor driver. It's similar to other stepper motor driver ICs in that it integrates indexer logic and two PWM current regulated H-bridge drivers. But it has some unique features that provide better performance and lower cost than its competitors. The MP6500 is available in a 28-pin TSSOP package or a 5mm by 5mm QFN package and can deliver 2.5 amps peak output current. For space or cost constrained applications, the MP6600 offers all the same features in a 4x4mm QFN and can deliver 1.5 amps of current. Both parts operate from a single supply voltage from 4.5 volts up to 35 volts. One of the distinguishing features of the MP6500 is that it doesn't need external low side sense resistors. Measurement and control of winding current is inside the IC using a lossless measurement technique developed by MPS. A small low power resistor connected to the I set pin is used to set the desired peak current. Sensing the current inside the IC allows the current regulation circuitry to monitor the current at all times. This allows much more accurate current regulation and removes any requirement to tune the decay mode to optimize performance for each application. In conventional drivers that sense the winding current using an external shunt resistor, the current is measured only during the PWM on time. During slow decay, there's no current flow through the shunt, so current cannot be measured. In fast decay, the sense voltage is negative, which can't be measured by most stepper ICs. Since the current control circuitry is blind to what the current's doing in decay mode, current regulation suffers, resulting in poor motor performance. Here we're using an MP6500 to drive a stepper motor using 1 amp peak current from a 12 volt power supply in 1 8 step mode. You can see the PWM current ripple, but even when we vary the motor speed, the current remains in good control, approximating a sine wave. Now we're running the same motor under the same conditions using a popular conventional stepper motor driver IC. To optimize the current waveform, and get quiet operation. We need to adjust the decay setting. Unfortunately, when you optimize it for one motor speed, if you run the motor faster, the current goes out of control. If we optimize the decay setting at this higher speed, and then go back to the lower speed, we see lots of current ripple. The problem with large current ripple is that it results in errors in the average current level, which causes positioning errors as well as noise and vibration. You can see in this waveform that the average current level is much lower when driving the current towards zero because the current's not being sensed during the PWM off time. The MP6500 avoids these problems by monitoring the current during the PWM off time as well as during the on time. It normally uses slow decay but switches to fast decay on a cycle by cycle basis only as needed to keep the current in control. This minimizes current ripple and average current errors. As this waveform shows, when the current through the winding needs to be decreased as a result of a step command, the MP6500 operates in fast decay until the current's driven below the desired level. Because of this, the winding current can never rise out of control. The MP6500 is a new generation stepper motor driver IC that provides better performance than its legacy stepper motor drivers at a competitive cost. For more information on this or other MPS motor driver ICs, visit www.monolithicpower.com.